Now, suppose your doctor offered you a pill that would help you lose about 10% of your body weight within a year. No dieting per se, no exercise, just a pill. Well, it's here. An FDA advisory committee endorsed it this week. The drawbacks, as with any pill, remember this, guys, you put a pill in your pill medication, all dangerous. It's whether the risks are worth it. So, in this case, the risks are heart problems, memory loss, birth defects. So would you risk it? Something to think about. I've got Donnie on Facebook here who writes, I'm overweight with diabetes and I need something like that to get me on the way to a healthier me. I think when taking a pill like this, it should come with mandatory nutrition classes. So when the pill is gone, you can continue to eat the right way. I do that in a heartbeat. And, you know, I, I don't know for sure that's how the pill is going to be used. It might be something that people take long term that possibly might be advocated that way. I don't, they haven't made the recommendations yet. But I like the way you're thinking, that you, you do it to lose the weight. You're diabetic. The consequences are profound if you don't lose the weight. It might, for you, be worth the risk taking something like this. Along these same lines, Lorinda writes, I'm obese with risk factors for heart disease. I have glaucoma. I'm carrying the Alzheimer's gene, 90, 99% according to the gene test. As a physician, as an MD, would you prescribe Cunexa to me? And, of course, she's putting me on the spots. Thank, thanks for that, Lorindo. Cunexta is this new medication that has been approved. And what it is is a combination of a low dose of something called topiramate. It's also called Topamax. It's been around for a long time. It's an anti-seizure med. It's a mood stabilizing med. You might use it in a bipolar patient. And I've used it for people to help lose weight in low doses for a long, long time. And it's effective. main thing is, again, birth defects and... and um, liver inflammation, you worry about that a little bit, but for people that really need to lose weight, it has been effective. The other medicine, again, Cunexa, is topiramate and fenteramine. Remember fenteramine? Remember fenfen? I saw disasters from fenfen. Fenteramine is a psychostimulant, so fenteramine scares me. I'm not saying don't do this, but I'm saying if you have any history of addiction, if you have bipolar disorder, fenteramine, not for you. Maybe just take the Topamax by itself, the topiramate, and not the Cunexa. This is going to be an interesting thing to see how it works out. Again, here's, here's how I suggest you lose weight. Uh, move more, eat less. That's the best way to lose weight. Exercise, eat less. That, if we can handle that. Now, I, I'm, I'm not unrealistic about these things. I understand that it's very hard and some people need a little help. And certainly there have been surgeries and things advocated. That's how desperate people get to prevent the consequences of not losing that weight. So it's, it's a controversial but a big deal.